Sex is in a rebound relationship, okay? Rebound relationships are more common than you think. Typically, before someone leaves you, they have someone else in mind. Whether they kept that person as a friend or if they're secretly dating that person, a lot of the time they will have someone in the background. You have to understand that it's not your fault if they have someone else. Because it's fine if someone wants to leave a relationship because they're not happy. But if they have someone else lined up straight after you, then that person isn't worth the troubles. I know if you're going through this right now, you probably feel ugly, you probably feel worthless, you probably feel that you're not a good enough partner and this new person is better than you. And if you have that point of view, then I would have to disagree with you. Just because your ex found someone new doesn't mean that they're better than you. In most cases, it's just a distraction for the meantime. That rebound is more of a healing tool than someone that they actually care about. Even if you see your ex acting normal on social media, maybe even posting their rebound relationship, it does not mean that they're happier without you. All of that is actually just an illusion. And to be honest, you shouldn't even be looking on their social media. You should have them blocked and deleted out of your life once everything is officially done. Because all you're going to do is cause yourself a lot of pain. A lot of people ask me, what does it mean when my ex is watching my stories or liking some of my posts? In all honesty, it doesn't mean anything. It just means that they are looking at your profile, probably wanting to get your attention because they want to manipulate you because they miss you so much and they want you back in their lives. Do not look too much into why they're watching your stories, especially if they have a rebound relationship. Oftentimes they just want to monitor to see if you've moved on or not. Here are six things that could help you if your ex is in a rebound relationship. One, give yourself space. You need a space and time to feel it, to heal it and process all of your emotions. Even if you see something online, try to not be impulsive and just react on anything that they post. Reaching out while you're hurt is one of the worst things to do. I've done that many times before and when I've eventually calmed down, I felt very embarrassed. Avoid being on your phone too much and overanalyzing. Two, reflect on your feelings. As I said before, you need to feel it to heal it. And as I said before, most of the rebounds that people get into are actually temporary. And your ex finding someone straight after you is a coward move. Whatever you do, try not to internalize it. Three, avoid comparison. If you're someone that processes your emotions and it takes a while, you will compare yourself. It's important that you do not compare yourself to this person's new partner. You are a completely different person and you are a great person and you have great values. And there's so many great things about you. Do not fall into the trap of you comparing yourself to someone that you don't even know. Four, focus on self-improvement. Self-improvement is something that I always preach whether you're in a relationship or you're not in a relationship. A lot of people get comfortable in a relationship and they stop doing the things that they used to do. They stop going to the gym, they stop their self-care because they feel like they have their partner now. There's no need to look good or make any effort. Regardless if you have a partner or not, you should always be the main focus and you should always try to be better and become a better person, whether that's physically, mentally, spiritually, etc. Five, maintain healthy boundaries. There's a high chance that your ex will reach out to you, especially if they see you getting on with your life or you're not paying attention to their rebound relationship or because the rebound relationship isn't working the way that they expected it to. Your ex will be in a state of panic and try to reach out to you. Do not give in and limit the contact. There are only two reasons why you and your ex should even be in communication. is if you have a business together or have a child or children together. Anything aside from that, you should not be communicating. Six, letting go and acceptance. You have to accept that you can't control your ex-partner and what they do. Even when you were in a relationship with them, there's not much that you can do in order for you to control what they do. You shouldn't be trying to control anything that a person does anyway. Love is meant to be free. When you're in a relationship with someone or even married to someone, they should feel free to be who they are. And whether they do right or wrong towards you, it's totally up to them. There's only so much things that you could control. Once you start with acceptance, then you're able to let go. That is the only way you can move forward. Please bear in mind that your healing journey is unique. If someone's healing journey took them two weeks, that's great for them, but you're a completely different person. It could take you double the time. It could take you a year, two or more. It just depends how much work you do towards yourself. Don't worry about your ex and their rebound relationship. They may or may not come back around, but you have to think to yourself, do you really want someone that goes to someone else and then comes back to you? I would hope that you would say no. For relationship and mental health coaching, click the link in my bio.